The confrontation between Huawei and the Trump administration has been going on for a while now. As a result, Huawei is already on the US NDT list, which restricts them from using Google mobile services on their smartphones. Even though this has not affected their smartphone sales in China, but the global sales are definitely being impacted. Now today, according to the latest reports, the Trump administration is all set for even more fatal blow to the Huawei smartphone business by blocking the shipment of chips to Huawei from foundries around the world. As we know, most of the tech firms like Apple, Qualcomm and MediaTek design their own chips but do not have the facilities to manufacture them. That is where the foundries like TSMC comes in which manufactures chips like A13 Bionic for Apple, Kyron 990 for Huawei and the Snapdragon 865 for Qualcomm. Meanwhile, the TSMC was supposed to ship to Huawei the first 5nm Kyron 1000 chips later this year which is expected to power the upcoming Mate 40 series. But under the newly changed rules, foreign foundries using chip making equipments from US will be forced to obtain a license from the US before they ship the chips to Huawei or its high silicon subsidiary. The US Commerce Secretary Wilbur Rose said that the US will only allow wafers already in production to be delivered to Huawei as long as shipments are made no later than 120 days from today. However, following the first ban imposed on the Huawei 5G equipments, they have been moving more towards in-house production which led to the development of their own mobile operating system, the Harmony OS. Huawei has also managed to move the production of some mid-range chipsets to SMIC, China's largest foundry. But in terms of technological capabilities, the SMIC uses 14nm technology which is several process nodes behind TSMC's 5nm process. This translates to approximately 44 million chips per square mm on the SMIC whereas the TSMC is capable of achieving 171.3 million per square mm. This is exactly why Huawei is using SMIC to produce only the mid-range chipset such as Kyron 710A. So it seems to us that this new restrictions from the US is definitely fatal for Huawei since it seriously threatens the production of its high-end chipsets. It has to be seen how Huawei would tackle the situation and since it's beyond our scope for speculation, we just have to wait and see. So guys, that's pretty much that we have here for now. We would love to know your thoughts on this and if you like the video, hit the like button, share with your friends and stay subscribed.